I'm Sasha Berleman. I am a fourth year PhD student at UC Berkeley. Um, I'm studying the use of prescribed fire primarily in California rangelands to help get rid of an invasive weed that the only way we know how to get rid of it is through the use of fire. But sometimes it doesn't work, so I'm trying to figure out why sometimes it doesn't work and uh, fix those problems and inform landscape managers so that they can actually use fire in an efficient and effective way. I got into science. I actually started out um, my college career in humanities thinking that I couldn't possibly become a scientist. That was just so far out of reach. The more I hiked around in the beginning of my undergrad, undergrad and spent time outside, uh, the more I started seeing ecosystems that needed something different, some kind of different treatment. I'm from Southern California where huge fires happen all the time. And within that first year, I took an environmental science class um, more just to fulfill general requirements for college. Um, and in that class, I learned about how badly California ecosystems need fire. All of the plants are adapted to, to need fire, and yet here we are constantly putting them out. And we're really just digging ourselves a hole. And that really spoke to me. That, that bothered me. I wanted to make a difference. I wanted to see a change in the way we interact with fire. California um, government started suppressing fire about a hundred years ago, completely like trying to put out every wildfire there possibly could be because we were, we were scared of fire actually hurting our, our precious wood resources up in the forest and we're learning now that that's not that's not how it works. We may actually need fire to, to maintain those wood resources, even though it seems like a destructive force. And when you suppress fire for that long, you create wildfires that are immensely worse, like mm. so much more catastrophic and severe. And you can combine that with, with severe drought for a few years and you have a, a real hazard, a real problem. And that's the underlying, like simplified cause of why we're getting the fires we're getting now. A, a fire ecologist essentially has a, a fundamental understanding, at least to the best of our knowledge to date, what um, a landscape, depending on what it is, whether it's a um, mixed conifer forest or oak woodland or um, a rolling grassland, like what do those landscapes need in regards to fire, um, like how often the fire comes, how severe the fire should be, what season it should happen in. Um, there are all these aspects to fire that each of these ecosystems has a requirement for. And a fire ecologist would go to these landscapes and help managers prescribe the right type of fire for that ecosystem so that it's maintained in a healthy balance and, and safe. So for me, for fun, I, I do a lot of different things. Um, I have always been a dancer, and so a few years ago I came into uh, teaching pole dancing classes for uh, women around my age, anything from uh, like beginning of undergrad age all the way through. I have some students in their 60s, and it's such a fun activity um, helping like empower women and give them a sense of strength and uh, I absolutely love it, and I, I love dancing, and I love teaching, um, and helping women find their sense of femininity and their inner strength. Um, I absolutely love Shinova. The second I saw your website and your mission statement, and the clothes themselves, they're, they're beautiful, and they inspire women to fill this exact gap that there is where they can actually be feminine and smart, and express all of that at once without having to polarize and say like today I can be feminine and tomorrow I have to be a masculine scientist and that's so unique I've never seen anything else like that